This video is brought to you by Skillshare. It's time to learn the long lost art of beat juggling and yes, you can beat juggle on a controller. Beat juggling is a turntablist technique where the DJ plays a continuous looping beat by manually playing a beat on one deck, then crossfading and playing the same beat on the second deck, then crossfading back again to the first deck, playing the same beat, followed by repeating the whole process. You can think of it as making a manual loop with your hands. And it can be used in a lot of ways, such as to emphasize a phrase. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. This is how, this is how, this is how we do it. Emphasize a cool breakdown. Or just emphasize your skills as a dope DJ. Anyway, for this first video in this series, we'll be focusing on the basic beat juggle. Now, before we proceed, let me just say that the beat used in this video is available for download and you can get it right over here or down below. But if you want to follow along with your own beat for this tutorial, don't worry, I got you. Just set its BPM to 92. Anyway, with that said, let's begin. So here's the breakdown. So we're going to play 16 beats on the first deck. Then once you reach its end, we'll use a crossfader to transfer to the second deck. And there we'll play the same 16 beats on beat. And while deck 2 plays, we'll spin back deck 1 back to the start, back to its first beat. Then once deck 2 has played its 16 beats, we'll use a crossfader again and transfer to the first deck. And play the beat on beat. Then while that is playing, we will spin back the second deck back to its first beat as well. Then once deck 1 is done playing, we'll use the crossfader to transfer back to deck 2 again and then we'll repeat the whole process. So there are 4 important things you have to keep in mind. Number 1, your eyes on the play marker. Number 2, accurately back spinning to the first beat. Number 3, using the crossfader to transfer to the other deck. And number 4, playing the beat on time. Now before we go any further, it is important to set your crossfader settings to sharp. To do that, simply go to your mixer settings and drag the crossfader curve adjust marker to the sharpest section. So the first step is to load the same beat on both decks. Now it's recommended to beat juggle with hip hop beats, but you can use any beat of any genre of any BPM if you prefer. Now keep in mind that you have to bring this first beat which I have cue pointed to this play marker over here. So the second step now is to play the beat on the first deck. Keep in mind that our crossfader will be all the way to the left side to make sure nothing on the right side is heard. And also keep in mind that deck 2 will be on play mode and will keep it from playing by keeping your hand on the platter. Now once deck 1 is playing, make sure your left hand is ready at the crossfader section and your right hand ready on deck 2 to play the beat. Once you play 16 beats on deck 1, or once you reach the section here which I have Q pointed as Q point H, it'll be time to go to step number 3. So step number 3 is to slam the crossfader from the left section all the way to the right section and at the same time, let go of deck 2's platter to play the beat. Keep in mind that you have to do this at the exact moment you reach beat number 16 on deck number 1. Step number 4. While deck 2 is playing its 16 beats, We'll look at our screen and backspin deck 1's beat to its start. And we'll keep our left hand on the platter so that we're ready to play it once deck 2's 16 beats are over. Keep in mind that the cross fade is all the way to the right side to make sure backspin on deck 1 isn't heard. Step 
So once deck 2 reaches its 16 beats, step 5 now is to bring the crossfader from the right side back to the left side and simultaneously play the first deck. So stand that crossfader to the left section and let go of the platter at the exact moment to reach beat number 16 on deck number 2. So congratulations, that'll be your first beat juggle. Next step now is to repeat the whole process. So while deck 1's beat is playing, backspin deck 2's beat to its beginning and get ready to play it once you snap the crossfader to the right. Then just repeat the whole thing to continue the juggle. Now once you start getting good, you can try reducing the beat count from 16 to 8 to even 4. And to make things even more fun, try implementing some scratches. The trick to doing this is to scratch a deck that's not playing right before you crossfade to it. And that's it. Beat juggling isn't easy, but it sure is fun once you get the hang of it. It's definitely a cool technique to use and have, especially if you want to impress your friends and DJ friends. Trust me, I know. But it does require a lot of hard work and practice and skills. And speaking of skills, another way to up your skills is through Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with over 20,000 classes in graphic design, music production, DJing, songwriting, and a whole lot more. Their premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes on useful and engaging topics like marketing yourself better and making a website. It's honestly a great way to improve your skills and unlock new opportunities. I personally want to recommend Young Guru's course on DJing Live, from setup to sound check. Young Guru is a Grammy nominated engineer, mostly known for his work with Jay Z. Anyway, what I really like about this course is how he uses the first time DJ experience to better prepare you when you do set up and DJ live. He lets you know what to bring and how to fix everything up so you're set to play. So join the millions of students already learning on Skillshare with this very special offer just for my viewers, you guys. The first 500 people to click on my Skillshare link down below will get 2 months of unlimited Skillshare for free. Yup, for free. So what are you waiting for? Click on that link and start learning today. And with that said, thank you so much for watching guys. My name is DJ Carlo Atendido and I will see you all in the next one. I definitely suggest you guys to first use whatever you have with you right now. So if that's your cell phone, if that's your laptop, then use that. But if you really want to get started in DJing, what's the best thing that you can buy? Definitely whatever you can afford. Use whatever that is to get you where you want to go. Remember, at the end of the day, it's not the, it's not the equipment you use, it's how you use it. Be it a phone, a computer, or like a traffic controller.